Hello. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's 7 Eastern. 7.02. And so it's time for Handelabra Live. Whoa. I'm John. I am here to play games while you observe. I'm going to play Sentinels tonight. No boops. No boops. Uh, I was going to play Eon's End, but we've been fixing some bugs today and, like, a build literally just finished. And that seems like maybe I should, like, try it a little bit before I, you know, stream it. So, uh, we'll just have to save that for the Steam Digital Tabletop Festival that's coming up this weekend. Um, it is RPG focused, but we are involved. There's going to be a sale. There's going to be um, special streams. Uh, there's like so the regular events, regular streams will be on and part of it. So Dolphins Dive will be part of it and Spirit Island Saturday and uh, another Letdowns Tales from the Archive. But we're also going to have a special stream on Sunday. So this is Sunday afternoon at, I believe, 2 Eastern or 1 Eastern. Um, <clears throat> we'll post about that. I can't remember the exact time. I guess my calendar might tell me. But um, we're going to stream some Eon's End, me and Logic Dolphin. And that's going to be some more New Age previews. So we'll save it. We'll save Arachnos for Sunday. Arachnos Sunday, Eon's End time anyways words uh Hanna-Labra games believes in civil rights for everyone and in being as inclusive as possible um that includes trans rights and black lives matter uh anyone working against these goals is not welcome and will not be tolerated so be excellent to one another am i gonna try to redeem myself in the last team game uh you got that win <coughs> i feel like a nice relaxing game of oblivion uh, tonight, uh, after doing, you know, how much damage to Blavan did I do on the weekend? It was like more than 20,000, right? So I feel like I can, you know, play a regular game of Blavan instead. Uh, I also can mention uh, there's an update to Sentinels today and to Spirit Island with a new feedback system. So now the feedback button says help and feedback. And it's there and in the game menu, in game menu. If you click on it, you get this. So uh, it is integrated into the game, especially on mobile. Uh, it's called Help Shift. And you can, like, say something like, I don't know, damage. And it'll pop up answers to your question if you've got a, uh, something that's in the FAQ. And you can take a look at that. You can browse the FAQ. But if you, uh, you know, if that doesn't seem to answer the question or you have another problem, uh, you can always send us a message. Uh, so you can create a new message just like this. And we'll get back to you uh, within a day or two, as we usually do. And it's all sort of in this sort of chat metaphor. We're not going to say that we're going to be have live chat agents 24-7. Uh, but, you know, the regular level of support that we try to give and maybe a little faster potentially because it's easier for us. Um, and yeah, so it's integrated right in there. And when you get a reply, you can just pop right back in to here and it will be it'll be there as a reply. Um, and same thing on on your iPhone and Android. So check it out. Um, and we're going to continue to expand that to our other games as well as improving it uh, for for these games. Uh, Logic Dolphin, if I don't win in one round, I want a refund. All right, I'll refund you in full, I promise. <laughs> All right. Also, there's a weekly one-shot designed by Logic Dolphin, so check that out. Uh, Logic Dolphin also suggested a much more terrible one-shot that will sometime happen in the future, so you're welcome. <laughs> Not this week, but in a future week, it will be awful. And you will know who to blame if you remember this. <laughs> All right. I want to play Oblivion, I think. I just like playing Oblivion. And I was thinking, I want to play three heroes. Because, you know, the stats say the win rate is lower with lower heroes. And I understand, like, 
why that's the case. But I'm good at Oblivion, and I feel okay about it. I'm still going to play full random. But I think, <clears throat> I mean, there's certainly an action economy problem where, uh, you know, three heroes can't do as much as five heroes. But the H, the H stuff in Oblivion is pretty notable. Um, so, like, his damage increases by H, so that's a lot less with three heroes. Um, you know, gets things within the range of maybe being able to block it a little more. Not gonna play challenge, just gonna play regular. Uh, all right, so let me make the prediction. Will I win full random away H equals three? And I'll give you a couple minutes. You can see the setup. See if see if it makes sense. I'm not playing with any mods. I turned all the mods off because I didn't want to have to learn. <laughs> uh, or like find broken combos or whatever. Uh, let's just go with Eternal Haka, Dark Watch Expatriate, and the Naturalist. And a random shield and a random scion order. Send in your predictions. What do you think? I mean, this is how I learn. But I didn't want to pop in mods tonight. I don't know. Just feel like, feel basic tonight. I'm actually having tea instead of beer. I had a beer for, with supper, but I don't feel like having lots of beer. Maybe for the second page. We'll see. Just doing my tea bag here. Some oolong. It's in here. You can maybe see the steam. I don't know how many pixels you can see. Oh, a challenge by three heroes, not challenge mode. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, not a lot of people voting that yes, I will win. <laughs> not a lot of confidence here, chat. Oblivion says in his most fearsome Oblivion voice, Do not fight the end. None shall survive to remember. And Haka says, I will remember. Actually, he's New Zealand, right? He's... He's from New Zealand, so he's like, I'm. I, he probably has a Maori accent, not a New Zealand accent. So I will remember. I always remember. I'm not going to attempt a Maori accent. He probably has like ev any accent he wants, right? After living for like thousands of years, so or is it hundreds of years? Yeah. Many years, and he's lived all over the world in many places long enough to pick up whatever accent he wants. So, Haka's, Haka's gonna Haka. It's Progeny again. I think that happened last time we played. Right? We had this shield. So, this shield is interesting. It's H based, I believe. And it's this guy who's Nixius Voitzel. Voitzel! <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I will ever remember their names between themselves. They're like the shadowy tentacle guys. There's two of them. Good luck. <laughs> now someone's going to like make a variant for Oblivion where all of the scions are shadowy tentacle guys. Oh, look, the other shadowy tentacle guy. <laughs> okay. I guess now we do have to remember their names. It's Nixius. Haka has earned the right to do whatever accent he wants. I agree. All right. Well, now this is kind of annoying because we have to leave and come back, but that means two tokens, not just one. And we get an Aeon Locust right off the right off the hop. Yeah, actually. So one of the things that's really hard about Wait, what? Why is he destroying? Oh, because... Oh, man, this is a bad start. So, this plays Aeon Men. And that played Aeon Locust. So, and an Aeon Warrior. That's cool. Uh, what custom villain is that? Yeah, that's a really cool mod that Christopher Bedell made for Sentinels. Changes everything. Uh... With three heroes, it's very hard to cover Scions uh, for the Devastation Tokens. And especially if he starts playing extra Scions, it can become impossible. 
Uh, so, because you only have three heroes. So, we're going to destroy the Ant Locust and see what happens. I was hoping he might leave, but he didn't leave. Hey, it's only plus three, not plus five, like we're used to. Uh, oof. Oof. Ground pound. Two ground pounds. Well, that's good. Let's give this to the naturalist. He's got some healing stuff. Ow. So, actually, if we play ground pound this turn and next turn, we can have no one take damage from the shield. So, let's do that. It's actually, it's not the best use of ground pound, but... I, and I don't actually know. Hakka doesn't care about himself taking the damage. He'll just play Tomoko this turn. Let's not play all of our ground pounds in one basket. Oh, also... Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. I can get a token right now. Uh... I think I'll do that. Don't count your ground pounds before they're hatched. So let's Tomoko. Yeah, we can actually, we can get, we can do this differently now with Nature Compulsion. We can have one of these heroes stay in the battle zone. So we don't actually end up adding any more devastation tokens. And one hero goes the other zone plays with Void Soul. And we can actually not even worry, like, since Haka has Nature's Compulsion, we can add tokens a little more at will, almost, because Haka can always get one, no matter what Oblivion does. So maybe we don't, I don't know if we don't worry about it or what, but it's interesting. Interesting. So yes, I will. Give me, give me that Four. It's only four, because I have Tomoko. And... Who should hang out with Void Soul? This is going to make self-damage happen, so I wouldn't want, like, Expatriate to come and, like, use her power to hit herself for more damage. Um, the Naturalist could, like, potentially take no damage if he can make it mo if he can make it one depends on what he gets I guess we would want some damage to be dealt so he doesn't play a card but I think the naturalist is probably better to go over there uh, because yeah he can actually soak the these one damages like pretty easily so we'll have the expatriate stay here oh interesting well we're not getting this but we weren't going to get it either way i guess we could have looked at it and decided like with haka to not come back or whatever but eh, we'll probably get it at some point and i'd rather not hit progeny I guess we'll hit. We'll do the quick draw. Maybe we'll actually take the plus one damage. Because hitting Nixius, he's probably going to heal back. So, we'll take the plus one. And, yes, we will move. Take this on. Take on this. And... I want to have, I guess... Actually, that's just one hit point. This is the the one damage thing is the most important thing. Uh, let's draw four cards. We're not doing any useful amount of damage, so... We could play Natural Born Vigor, but we don't have another power. Even though Primal Charge doesn't, like, do a lot, it, uh... Draw four is a lot, so... I guess I have that option turned off, which I can... 
I'm just gonna turn it. Turn it on unless I need it. Discard the top two cards of the environment deck. Well, I guess Progeny is getting a token. Oh yeah, he runs away. I forgot about that. But I mean, we save we save two tokens here. We lose to get two tokens there. So I don't know. <laughs> it would. Two tokens either way. Can take advantage of the damage reduction. Discard cards. Definitely not ground pounds, though. Uh, and I guess it's shock rounds here. And he'll hit Haka for just one. Just one. Oh, great. This is going to be fun. Increase all damage by one. Naturalist might die here and destroyed his card. Well, it was ne never going to go off, would it? was it? Yeah, Naturalist is dying here. <laughs> like, immediately. Not even got to the Aeon men. Whoops. Uh... Random. And we will stay in this battle zone so we can come back for the token. Right? Unless... Actually, when a hero enters the battle zone, add a token. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I do that while I'm in cap, do we get a token? Because that saves the damage. I mean, I might take damage from... Oblivion later or whatever. It does add a token. Okay. Well, that's one way to do it. Oh, oh, she did. She took damage. Hang on. She took damage because she was alive at the time. Okay, okay, okay. There's no free pass. It's fine. We will say no. Yeah, it's after you come back. So now you know. All right, he plays Temporal Fractures. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I guess we're coming to the battle zone, like, <laughs> the same way. <laughs> oh, well. All right, Haka saying yes. This has got four to three tokens on it already. Because he got pushed, I guess. Uh, we're just shuffled the mission deck on this, I think. Oh, it's the same thing. Cool. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, ground pound saves five damage. Uh, and, yeah, that seems fine. I would like to rampage those uh, Aeon men, but oh well. I am not going to move because... Actually, we don't need Ground Pound, right? Because he doesn't deal the damage anyways. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. The, the third token, because there's only three tokens. He doesn't actually deal the damage. But am I gonna like play Rampage here? Just think about it. Oh, I'd like to Rampage the other battle zone. So you know what? I'm going to not move at the pre-start of my turn. I'll move at the end of my turn. Uh, I'm going to, I guess I could trade. But I want to move at the end of the turn, right? 
So yeah, let's just shuffle this and get the same result. Uh, let's rampage these guys, because screw them. Oh, and it's, like, it's even plus one, so that's very good. Take a, take a hit on our heroes, but clean up all these Eon men. And then we draw a card. I don't care about a mint. It's fine. Yes, let's move. So Haka takes the damage minus one, and then Expatriate won't take damage, so. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be Expatriate. It could be Unity coming over. Either way, we can get an infusion of power. Be less damage to Haka, though Haka's starting to hurt a bit. What does this do on the other side again? Right. No, and actually, we do have several environment cards. So whether it's, is it Unity or is it, oh, we could play Ground Pound from that if Unity goes over, if we wanted to. Maybe we just all go over. We're not like, this is happening the two tokens, so maybe we just all go over and play Ground Pound. That's probably better. Uh, we could trade Infusion of Power, but we I guess we could trade and then go back. That's true. What if we do that? We do avoid the bonus token. We could potentially get um, the shield removed. But it's also possible that it like, destroys environment cards or whatever, right? So it's not, not a given. What if we trade and move back at the end of the turn? And then we stay over there with those scions. What does that look like? They do add tokens when they get damaged. That's annoying. And actually, that would flip Void Soul. I don't want to flip Void Soul. Let's just shuffle this again. It's different now. Uh, all right. Quick draw. Shoot, Shoot the guns, actually, this time. It does uh, give Progeny a token, but for six damage, it's probably worth a token. Is he flipping? Because, yeah, he's flipping, which is fine, I guess. I think he doesn't do that much damage with H equals three. Uh, and, oh, you could bring Stealth Bot, but we're going to play Ground Pound, right? That was the thought. Let's go. Well, is it Ground Pound or is it worth saving Haka to get that? I guess it might be. Having a Ground Pound in whatever battle zone you want is kind of good. Uh, keeps this from hitting us. All right, we'll use it. Play a card, Haka. Discard Tomoko we have in play, and I don't know. Uh, we can use Modular Workbench to play Stealth Bot we don't really need because we have Ground Pound this round. And let's, I don't think hitting Progeny for, well, he gets damage reduction based on the tokens, right? Yeah, 
So I don't want to give him too many tokens. Let's just hit Char to make Char easier to deal with later. Ooh, EMP cannon. Except ground pound stops that from working. <laughs> Nope, I guess we're adding fewer tokens. Uh, that just deals damage. This plays another card, so Nixius, come back. When does Nixius blip back? When he destroys a target. Well, that's hitting Void Soul for a lot. Add one token. Aeon Assault. All right, they're all in this one battle zone. This is the nightmare with three heroes. <laughs> all right, we can uh, prevent the destruction. A player may discard two cards. Well, it's not going to be probably either of those, so it's going to be... I guess I can't really play Grand Pound this turn. Uh, expatriate. Discard. Yeah, I kind of want these RPG launcher, so... Please don't destroy the environment. Please don't destroy the environment. He destroyed a bot. Good. I <laughs> make that. Is that an environment card? <laughs> no, it was a bot. <laughs> Take Walker, why did you make a, a duct tape spider? All right, there's the shield. We all draw a card, which means we could play Ground Pound, but we probably don't want to. Does this mean Oblivion's going to add a bunch of tokens because. He's doing his end of turn. No, his end of turn already happened, so he's not doing that. But his flip damage we blocked, so that's nice. So here's the thing. We're in a battle zone. That is very dangerous, but also we need to be there. <laughs> and we can't really play ground pound because that adds too many tokens. Um, I think it's next turn is ground pound. So if I get this, I get, yeah, I can move to the other, uh, battle zone. I think I move just to like get that. Does it matter if I get it now? I guess if I get it now, I get to pick a different reward, right? So yeah, it does matter. Um... Sure, take this on. I don't want to play a card because super cool Trisolvan Vat will hit me for... Actually, it won't, right? Oh, no, it will. I only have minus one. This doesn't give me minus one. If I play Dominion, I think I'm going to take my chances and try not to get killed next turn with Haka. That's what I'm thinking, because if I play Ground Pound, he definitely adds three tokens. I guess it's not that bad, but I really want Ground Pound for the following round. When he blows up and when he blows up. Assuming he blows up. Hmm. And if Ground Pound's in play, then we can't use the EMP cannon, which is nice. I mean, we don't have a lot of cards, so maybe it's not that nice. We have Flak Jacket to save Expatriate. We have Stealth Bot to save other people. Yeah, maybe we don't use Ground Pound. Which means I think I press Skip here. That's interesting. And during Intercession, could help us against Codename Char. Uh, 
This environment does a lot of one damage, right? Well, that does more, potentially. How safe is Enduring Intercession? That's the question. And is it worth three hit points for Haka? It's probably not worth three hit points for Haka right now. So we could skip and draw a card or draw a card. And <laughs> yeah, we'll just draw two cards either way. I guess there's, we could have, yeah, that would. Let's do the smart thing because we can draw, draw a Hawk of Shielding, which we did draw. Okay, fine. We're doing that. And then I'll move back. because that seems like a horrifying place to be. Uh, let's, we need to discard five cards. I'm just gonna let, if we discard cards, then we get these. Uh, no, the Red Menace. Red Menace is okay. Actually, only hits Unity right now, and nobody if we play Stealth Bot. Hmm. So if I use the EMP Cannon, I have to discard a card for it, though. Speaking of RPG Launcher. I have enough hit points, I don't think I play Flak Jacket right now. If I destroy a card, it's probably aggressive volunteering, so it doesn't play more subjects, these two, I guess. I guess we lost the general. It's like, where's the general? Got discarded. Oblivion takes damage. Uh... Red Menace, I don't want it, I don't know, hit directly. Uh, I don't like hitting Scions too much, but I think I do more damage using these than the EMP Cannon does, so uh, let's hit the target. And we don't want to move to the second battle zone. That is a silly place. Shattering Blow. Sure. We can probably manage that with uh, Expatriate some turn, hopefully. Potentially with Unity, if she can get things going. Uh, I think I play Brainstorm here. I don't know that I want Stealth Bot right now. I guess Stealth Bot right now is okay. Avoiding hitting Nixius because of the token. Unity Nemesis. I guess we could play Stealth Bot. B Bot is an option, but it's not really doing much. Stealth Bot. Highbrow. Yeah, with Nemesis bonus, I will say yes. And this is all... Well, actually, this is going to kill Char. So, hit everyone that we want you to hit. AKA not Nixius for a token. Uh... Who is, yeah, the highbrow is hitting like and warriors and stuff. So, uh, and actually we could make sure it does. Uh, progeny doesn't get through, actually hits himself. It's funny. 
Uh, hit the warriors. And the red menace to kill him. And that happens. Then he's make the target with the lowest HP deal damage or whatever. Oh yeah, I guess we can. It can just like still be stealth, but kills itself with this. <laughs> so that's all right. So we can try to make sure stealth bot survives. So if we say yes to that. Oh no, that means stealth bot's dead now. Hang on. Hang on. I don't want Java. Uh, now this is Haka doing this damage, which is bad. Uh, hang on. Was it this? I think it's that we don't redirect this damage. Yeah. Uh, she takes minus one. We have to not redirect this because we need this. This is Stealth Bot doing this damage. Uh, so Stealth Bot needs to kill itself here. And Nixius deals three and three, which is two and two. Is it each hero target in the play area? Uh, Xpatria can take this, I think. Ow. Well, the lab rat's going to be chomping on. Oh, these Ann men are just like getting wiped. <laughs> it's hilarious. The vats. They have stepped into the vats. Stealth bot did a good job. I have to pay respects to the stealth bot. Embracing smite. And we have to destroy one of our cards. That's annoying. It's probably not going to be... We'll keep our pride and we'll lose our prejudice. Not going to be Apex of Humanity. There goes our workbench. And he's not destroying these. He is getting hit by that. Okay. Nixus is adding a token, so he's going to be at 8. I don't think there's any order... No order matters here. Thanks, Red Menace. All right, Dark Mind appears in the other battle zone. <laughs> uh, so we could move and move back, but I don't think there's any real need for that uh, we have a couple tokens on expedition we could trade for red menace lol trade for shattering blow don't think we're i mean we have plus one damage but we don't have any damaging power right now no one's doing 12 damage unless we can do a damaging one shot and somehow get a bunch of damage with that, but I don't think that's happening. Uh, I don't know that I want this. I mean, it's alright, but it can be pretty hard to get, so I'm going to shuffle it. Ooh, okay. Not necessarily easy for us to get that, but I think we have another round in us here before Ground Pound. It's a slight danger, but we can play B bot and yeah, we we'll we'll do what we can here. 
Let's beat up on Void Soul. Maybe we can kill Void Soul. That'd be really good. I mean, killing Nixius would be even better because we all get a reward, but... I will not move to the battle zone. I just got a whole hit point. Uh, if I discard three cards, we get to draw a card and use a power, right? Which is just cards. Uh, I mean, Haka can discard two cards. I think it's worth getting this now. Tomoko, and let's say Enduring, and probably Unity here. Yeah, we have Brainstorm. Oh, right, Void Soul. Flips. It's so annoying. Should we have waited? He has DR2 now, right? Uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Sorry, Expedition to Atlantis. Not when we're that close to killing him. Uh, no. We could trade the Red Menace here so we don't take the damage. Uh, who is best at having this? I guess Unity can give out card draws. Oh, Unity wants to get that. Uh, yeah, let's send this to Haka. And let's play Arsenal Access or Black Jacket, but a submachine gun would be really good right now. I didn't get that. Uh... The environment target with the highest HP will deal each non hero target two damage. I might actually use that. That cleans up those Aeon Warriors, which we kind of need right now. And can actually, if I shoot the shotgun at Void Soul, I just want to kill Void Soul. And the cannon, and that. We're pretty close to killing Void Soul here, so. Skip. No drunk decisions, just hard decisions. Uh, yeah, use an in-cap ability. Actually, yeah, we can even avoid it hitting. It kills itself, so we can avoid it hitting Nixius. Oh no, hang on, it's it's highbrow. Hang on, it's high. It's not killing itself. It's the. It's the EMP cannon that's the highest. Which means we can't use the EMP cannon. That's fine. I think this is still a good ability unless we have a better card play. I think that's still good because we want to kill those Aeon men. Nope. That's not what I meant to click. We'll click on the right thing one of these days. Alright. Kill the Aeon. Actually, he's going to get killed. <laughs> he's going to kill himself from the Red Menace. Oh, we went back because we wanted to kill Hybra, right? Hang on. Hang on. Just cut this part, right? Just cut this part. <laughs> kill Hybra before she starts healing. Good. Hit Void Soul and Oblivion and Progeny. Uh, kill the warriors. I just forgot about Highbrow. Oh, he gets Primordial Boon from being there? Come on. Each target. <laughs> I mean, he's, that means he hits Oblivion harder, so okay. That's hilarious. Uh... We could destroy the shotgun for a bot. We could play that. I think we play Brainstorm here. We didn't get a bot. So the question is, is B-Bot worth? Is B-Bot worth? 
uh, shotgun or a pride or a taeha. Probably not a taeha, but probably pride now that we have the shotgun. I mean, in more normal circumstances, you probably wouldn't do that, but we might need that Biba to do something for us. Haha, -ha, hit progeny. Oh, gross. That's gross. Don't like that. Well, Bebot is being destroyed. Uh, keep working on Void Soul. May as well destroy this. Ouch. We might all get in cap this turn. Guess it might have been a ground pound turn. All right. Uh, Haka has a plus one damage, and so does Expatriate. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah, everyone's going to die. Oh, and also, this is killing either Expatriate or Haka. Does it really matter who? I guess Haka might survive. Well, no, he's going to get killed on Oblivion's turn, right? Because Oblivion's doing three damage for sure. So this really doesn't matter. Uh, it would be nice if... Actually, we are going to get to 12 tokens, right? Because we're going to get two more and then one. So everyone's going to leave. <laughs> that environment gets destroyed. So this doesn't... Actually, are we not getting killed? If we're not getting killed, that actually sucks. He's doing the... He's the last. Can we make it so that these heroes die? <laughs> I think we might be able to. How do we do that? Because uh, these heroes need to die, or else he's at 11 tokens, and it's really bad. So let's go back to play a card. Because Bebot is going off, which means I could destroy Tomoko. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Probably not what you would normally expect. But that's what we're going to do. Uh, deal damage to Oblivion here, because you uh, Oblivion's going to deal twenty-two or twenty damage to everything. Uh, oh right, sorry, I destroyed the wrong thing. Hang on, Bebot has to destroy an ongoing card of ours. Tomoko or Apex of Humanity would also work, but All right now this is Haka doing damage. And then finally Patriot. Sorry, gotta happen this way. Uh, and we're gonna randomly, and then we're gonna go to the other battle zone with Dark Mind, I guess, because Oblivion is here and he's going to destroy that environment, right? That's what it says. Yeah. I mean, he might come over, but we have to take the risk and leave. We get Night Mist. Run away. Oh, if we do this, then we don't get the token <laughs> from Darkmind. 
We have to hit. We have to hit Nixius with the damage. We're trying to get more tokens. It's being at eleven is the worst, right? So, hit Nixius for the token. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did we? Did Nixius Voicel already get hit? No. There's yeah. There's twelve tokens here. Okay. We'll get there. I was like, oh, Dark Might will add a token, but now she's not because we're going over there. So in theory, we could have been at 10 tokens, but I'd rather be at zero. Honestly. Wait, did... What happened? Why didn't Expatria die? What? What happened there? Oh, because oh, I pressed choose for me and Haka killed himself. That's why. These tokens do go to 11. Nope. <laughs> How can I not click on the right things? It's because I'm doing things that I would not normally do, I think. That's why. Just to try to tease out this weird situation. All right, destroy Tomoko. This is choose for me, but not later one. This is Haka doing the damage, so he has to hit Expatriate. And then he can kill himself. There we go. Is this exactly what we want? Let's find out. We have 12 tokens. Watch Dark Mind murder us somehow. I mean, if Dark Mind moves a Blavion over, that's the icing on the cake. Let there be music. Maybe he wants to get that. Seems good. Uh, it's actually pretty easy for Nightmist to get that too. And Dark Watch, Mr. Fixer. Always fun time in Oblivion mode. Of course, we do have the Vats doing a ton of damage. But it's hitting Dark Mind too, I guess. If Oblivion comes over, he will incap us all. <laughs> Except Mr. Fixer, maybe. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, he didn't come over. Destroy a card. Yeah, how about this one, please? And we all have to discard a card. What do we got, even? Stuff. Stuff and things. Uh, oof. I like these cards. I guess mist form. I'm probably going to be doing stuff and not being in mist form. I can't afford to be in mist form. I like the Lyra. I guess it's Scherzo. Or Sadistic Dissonant, but Scherzo. And discard a Tire Iron. It's not probably going to do too much. And reveal cards. Discard any non-ongoing and deal damage. So we want ongoings. And is she H-based at all? Not really. Oh, well, I guess her flip condition is. Uh, Mr. Fixer's got all of his styles. Of course, Argent Adept has lots of ongoings. Uh, and she has very few. So let's pick Argent Adept. Well, there were two. This is Nemesis, right? Yeah. I mean, one of them's going to him. Doesn't really matter. Ouch, Dark Mind. <laughs> this is a. Took a half our hit points to go to that battle zone, but. This is all of our hit points. Alright, Meta Mittermeyers. Here we go. So. I guess we're not getting any benefit from these. Oh well. So be it.
Oh, good. Just play more science. Sure, I don't care. <laughs> this would be a hard fight in five heroes. <laughs> and it's thrown it at me with three. This does not feel fair. And of course, Oblivion is going to do a bunch of damage and add more tokens, but he won't be at 10 or 11. Sure, play more Eon Locuses. What do I care? Yeah, he only adds three. It's not so bad. Yeah, maybe I go over and play Oblivion, actually. What do I got? Regain one HP, play a card, reduce all damage dealt by two. Get a damage plus one. I think I want to play Master of Magic and then play Oblivion. This is going to go to the Argent Adept. And maybe he'll survive long enough to benefit from it. You could also get Apex of Humanity back. Let's use an incapability to play Master of Magic. Play this, and big damage, big damage, big damage. Yeah, three and four. I can dig it. Clean up all these Eon men. Do a good amount of damage. And don't hit any heroes besides myself. Because they're not here. Uh, what do we want from this? I'm just going to be playing whatever this is, so it's probably the necklace. So let's put that on top, and then a four. Don't really have a lot of other stuff to do. I guess I'll be getting my reward, so most likely. Uh, and here do we want, we have use of power, destroy an ongoing, reduce by one, the next damage by one. Cool. Uh, I want to play the Lyra and Invent Appropriation, but I can't do both. I want to get card plays going. Guess I play the Apex. I want to take that this objective though, right? Like that's important. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Let's play this, and we can use this. I guess why not? Hey, look. Uh, I mean, I don't really want that card, so I could discard it, and yeah, I get past that. Slow start for these heroes, and we're not staying here, I don't think, are we? Why would we do that for a token to go beat up a Oblivion? Uh, we could take this on, or we could draw, play... Hit point, drop play. Environment target. There are no environment targets with the highest HP. Take on Hermetic. Punch Hermetic. Punch. Bloody Knuckles Hermetic? Sure. Ooh, Ice Chain pretty good against Oblivion. Ow. Ow. The Unstable Midway. Progeny flips back. Well, destroy. And Oblivion leaves. Cool. Uh, Progeny's doing one damage. And he's not nemesis of anyone. So it may as well be Night Mist, who's going to be healing a bunch. Kekmuckle Explosion! Hey, we've damaged Oblivion. 
with this set of heroes. <laughs> Good job, us. Well, Oblivion's going back <laughs> with the exact same card. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know if we're getting through his 150 hit points in three turns. We might just have to avoid that. Uh, this is going to be Mr. Fixer because he doesn't have any cards to destroy. All right. I don't think the order matters on this. There's an Aeon Man, but it doesn't matter. I mean, only three damage there is nice, but that's about the only nice thing about it. Um, now we're at seven. <laughs> uh, should we grab the primordial boon? We could, oh, building a king only takes two cards. We could get that. That seems good. We can, um, we can basically kill progeny, which probably was gonna help a lot. Uh, take this on, take take this on, take on this. Uh, I could play this to, like, no effect. I think I just draw two cards. All right. I guess it's the Lara. It's relatively easy to get those back. And I want the hoist chain. Only takes two. Uh, let's hit progeny. Progeny is gonna let us top, top deck, which is not like amazing, but it's good. Assuming we can actually kill progeny. <laughs> Hopefully we can kill progeny. Uh, and then flip back again. We have a card play. So we could get Mr. Fixture to play more cards. I don't know. Create contraption, regain. Oh, we have use a power. I wish we could do six damage again or have T-Rex Bot go again. That would be cool. I guess we could have waited for T-Rex Bot, but they came out of order. If this came first and then T-Rex Bot, that would have been perfect. Uh. I guess we use the ink capability or regain this. Regaining that helps. Definitely helps. It means we don't do anything on our turn, though. I guess we're not, we're not killing progeny, are we? We can kill hermetic. That's a thing we can do. So let's regain this and try to survive to another turn. <laughs> I'll use the power for the hit point. And incapability. Get two hit points. <laughs> Could draw like Jack handle, that would be good. Imagine I draw a jack handle. That'd be good. I guess I could play meditation. I could play two things. Yeah, maybe it's better for me to play. Because I can play. My cards. And destroy one of them. Like I'll play Driving Mantis and destroy it. And now we have Bloodstone, which might help a lot. Uh, I guess we're discarding Pipe Wrench. Environment does nothing. Progeny flips again. 
Oh, and there's this bug where two of them flipped at the same time and it, the animation glitches out of it. Uh, and that part glitched too. Cool. Well, T-Rex bot, can you kill progeny for us? No. Kill some ant men. Which is terrible. No, it's actually terrible. <laughs> oh no. Ant Master is going to murder us, but. But. We will have. Uh, bloodstone triggering because of that. So there's that. Let's make sure Tyrx Butt doesn't die in the middle of this. I don't think he will. It's hilarious. Uh, make sure he, like, takes lots of damage as he heals it up. Ouch, 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 ouch. I mean, there's nothing we can do to avoid this with Elemental Pandemonium. I wish, like, Progeny had not had minus two here. That would be cool. I guess I shouldn't have hit him. So be it. Ouch, and Master. Ouch, Progeny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everyone's dying. That's fine. We're going to have lots of ink abilities. A random deck. Would you like to go save us a token against Dark Mind? Yes. Arjun Adept survived because of that minus one, so. Kekmuckle Explosion! Oh, he stole my crocodile. <laughs> she stole my crocodile. Oh no. All right, there's a token. Oblivion does two and two, which is fine. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. All right, our genetics hanging on here. Uh, I think we go to the, do we stay here? We avoid the other zone for a minute. <laughs> when Oblivion counts down, we can make him go to the whichever battle zone we want. Uh, if we kill, Progeny. I think we're relatively safe. Virgin Advocate can like get a hit point. So I'm gonna say yes, move. You want a thing? T Rex bot kills progeny. Yeah, let's just get T Rex bot. And give ourselves a minus one. I want crocodiles. Let's just finish off progeny here. Draw two cards. Eon Master is like gonna flip back, right? Because there's no Eon Men. It wasn't that bad. It's terrible when he has like so many Eon Men, <laughs> and then like he just murders everyone. Uh, we're gonna stay. I still haven't gotten to do anything. I guess I can give a power out now. Uh, we can give a power to the naturalist to do stuff. I mean, we could try to hit Oblivion, but I feel like we're not we're not getting through 143 points. We just need to ride, get set up to try to survive here. So let's give a power. 
out to the naturalist. We could become immune to damage. There's no environment targets in this zone. I think we have Predator's Eye on uh, and Master. Make some progress on that. It's not what I like to do, really, but I'm just going to draw cards because I want options. See you later, Sparky. Yeah, another Predator's Eye for Oblivion later, maybe. A token. All right. I could give everyone a hit point and something on top of their deck. I would love to be able to do things. Let Mr. Fixer get harmony. That's pretty good, actually. And actually, Mr. Fixer can then give uh, give hit points to Arjun Adup, so he might survive a turn. We're getting towards Orchestrate the Void. We only need four tokens on it. Let's let Mr. Fixer find damage increase or driving driving mantis helps him survive a lot of these pings, so. I'm gonna say no. So we could take this on, which is very good for Mr. Fixer, or we could try to make sure Arjun Adept doesn't die, which I think is kind of important. So let's give, unless Arjun, Arjun Adept could give himself one hit point and everyone else one hit point, or we could give him two. I think two to him is more important. Not the kind of thing I choose very often. Reduce damage dealt to bloodstone by one or something. Said. <laughs> cool. All right, harmony. Let's hit a on it. Actually, this is helping keep Arjun Adept alive as well. And destroy a card. Oof. I guess it is just harmony, right? That's not that important. We have another way to get a style, but like, I want to keep driving Mantis. Because actually that lets us redirect Oblivion damage now. With a minus one. All seeing Azralbar. Do we have any discard synergy? I mean, we will. With this. Uh, and we can actually control one shots being on top with Vernal Sonata. Let's discard a card here, though. That. And reveal the top card of Oblivion's deck. Uh, I feel like Natural Scott lets a good one shots. It was not a one shot. All right. Yeah, more Scions. That's what we need. Great. Cool. Good. That's, yeah, super. <laughs> We've already killed so many Scions. Just put more, please. All right. Doesn't get through to Argent Adept. Does get through, does, actually, this redirects. So that's interesting. What's TRX bot doing? Playing an Aeon Man. Cool. Don't like that. I don't want that AMN to be killed by Oblivion. Uh, but he's going to play a card, but I can't kill him, right? We'll redirect this to Aeon Master, I guess. Great. Ow. I'm not going to do this. Ow. Ow. Uh, 
Yeah, if I hit the T-Rex bot, then Aaron Locust is more likely to get killed by Oblivion, so which we don't want to choose Naturalist for that. Hey, look, Dark Mind's gonna heal. Yay. Dark Mind freaks out. Getting a lot of flip animations. Well, we can move, let's say, Voss <laughs> away, I think. I don't know. We're going to have Oblivion go over there and attack, right? Like, that's the plan, probably, so... Oh, good. Uh, all right. So, yeah, I think this is actually interesting. So, we can have... Make sure we hit the Anman first. Actually, if he hits... He's going to hit Anmaster, no matter what we do, right? So, hit Anmaster, see what comes. Anthral, sure. And... We do get the opportunity to... Well, let's hit T-Rex Bot. Because T-Rex Bot gets to go. We get to redirect this with Mr. Fixer. I think and Master. Could have hit T-Rex bot, but I think and Master. Uh, we could have another chance to like play a one shot here. We have a lot of cards in our hand, but we also have Shifter Strength that we can discard them. Are the one shots we would get charge like it's very unlikely for mr fixer salvage yard's good uh you know good good one shots here actually maybe we discard one for urgent adept to try i don't think we really need environmental allies at least with these environments not with that attitude what's the other environment Realm of Discord and Tribunal, yeah. Let's... I mean, we don't really need hyperactive senses. I guess it helps with the Azkalbar, right? Let's discard this and look at Argent Adept. Not a one-shot. Not with that attitude. Actually, yeah, he's got one tick left. And so we're going to get him to go over to the other zone on his turn, right? That seems like a good idea. Uh, so we can kill Eon Master pretty easily here. So we're gonna say we're gonna stay here and regain. Yeah. Play that. And we don't really have any more setup. We could discard cards, but I kind of want ongoing destruction. We don't discard everything, I guess. We could just straight up draw two cards. I'd like to draw, find something that like helps heal us or whatever. So let's choose Gazelle again. Maybe. Let's choose this again. Play a card. Shifter strength. Let's just discard these. I'm sure it'll be fine. I guess we wanted hyperactive. We could play hyper hyperactive senses to control for one shots for the thing. Maybe that's better. Let's just play that then. Uh, let's choose ourselves and Argent Adept. And 
and I want to discard all of these to try to get a one shot on top. Well, I guess, actually, hang on, what did I click? Because I'm going to draw one of them, right? I won't cheat and click other decks. I'm going to draw one. So let's draw Natural Forms Power. I think I clicked that, but just to be sure. But these are both getting discarded. Oh, it was the... T hang on, hang on. I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I forgot that because I'm literally discarding the top card. I should put that to not be the top card. Right? Right? I've played this game before. I know what I'm doing. Uh, so we don't have to discard the top card of Arjun out of the deck, but what would I rather what would I rather him get here? Probably the well, wrap is bigger, it's fine, I guess. I don't know the odds that I get to play it, but I think I take the damage increase over the healing. All right. Now we hit Ann Master for 10. Reshuffles the Ann Men deck. Discard a card. And look at my own deck. It's a one shot. Nice. Uh, we don't like. I guess this doesn't matter. Oblivion. We're not going to do 136 damage to him. Uh, we just finish off and master here. Does anyone have like bonus damage? Not really. So. Does this like the target with the lowest HP? <laughs> if there are more attractions, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, let's just kill it. Kill this guy. Oh, I didn't, I didn't actually have a, a, a crocodile form. Oh, well, I'm not moving. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, no. I want Mr. Fixer to get this. So we want to use an, an ability. We can get Orchestrate the Void. That can kill Aid Master. Perfect. We have Naturalist use a power. Probably. We also have in caps to destroy ongoing cards. Uh could just draw two cards. We could play Natural Form. We could always just play that next turn, though. Let's just draw two cards. So I think I want to play Vernal Sonata to get a one-shot on top of everyone's deck. Seems good. Then I can let someone play a card. At least a one shot on some people's decks. What do we got here? Oh, we could get Bloodstone back. That seems like a good idea. Takes a couple turns, but we can get that back. Actually, we're going to draw it right away because of uh, the guys. The. Argents, the virtuosos of the void, that is, words. Do we have any rewards in our trash here? No. We might get T-Rex bots someday, but... All right, Argent Adepkin. We're going to draw the card first. So let's draw Arcane Cadence, I guess, because I like the Lyra. Actually, I want the more card plays stuff, but... I'll have Silver Shadow once I get Supertonic going, too. 
Scrap, uh, Silver Shadow, Inventor Preparation. These are all good options. Arcane Cadence is nice, but like you might not actually get what you want out of those five cards, so I'd rather have cards I want. Uh, if the perfect choice would be the Instrumental Conservation, but those are all in my deck somehow. And the Lyra is in my discard. So really, I want both of these, but not one of them. I guess it's Cadence. And Naturalist is going to have a one-shot that we put on top. Probably, I guess. Primal Charge. Draw four cards. Seems good. We also get to play a card. Keep Mr. Fixer set up toolbox gives him more equipment to discard I guess if I yeah I don't have another instrument if I have instruments I can play more of these but let's play toolbox because I can return to my hand and then discard it oh hey look bloodstone Oh, I drew the one shot. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, that's fine. We could play it. Play Primal Charge right now. We could play Bloodstone right now. We could play Arcane Cadence right now. We could do lots of things. Primal Charge does finish off Ian Master. Actually, this finishes off Ant Master, right? Each hero target regains 2 HP. It's lovely. Uh, Mr. Pixar doesn't really have anything else to play besides Bloodstone. I guess he could play Bloody Knuckles. There's really nothing to hit, though. We're just kind of waiting. So, maybe we play some more setup for Urgent Adept then. Play Arcane Cadence and try to get more stuff. We can actually set up the top of our deck now for the environment card. If there's a one shot, cool. I guess we could also just play it. Oh, we could play an we could play an equipment or a song though. Uh, we don't. We have syncopated, so we could take the bell. Let's put that in our. Let's put that in play. And play this with the end of turn thing. We might get a different one shot we play with the end of turn thing though, so yeah. Put that in our hand. Uh right, so it's something gonna be on top of the deck that will continue carrying on, so I don't know. Uh Drake's pipes. Uh bottom of the deck to bury. Doesn't matter. Ah, we got Vernal Sonata. Now we have two one-shot options. So I think now, actually, we can control another one-shot <laughs> for <laughs> for this. That's kind of fun. For the environment card. Uh, interesting. We have more Vernal Sonatas and all kinds of stuff. This is really complicated. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we put the pipes in our hand, we play Vernal Sonata, and then that ends up being on top of Arcane Cadence, and so we can discard two turns in a row for Argent Adept, or other if we want. So we can just end up with lots of one-shots on top. I think that's the idea. Everyone, we have one-shots on top. So I guess put this in our hand for the pipes. It's like, put the pipes or the thing that the pipes can use. Let's put that in our hand. Uh, Cadence on top. Sure, that can go on the bottom, that can go in the trash. All right, put one shots on top. 
Predator's eyes are going to be really good for Oblivion, so let's put those on top and plan to use those uh, when Oblivion flips over. Uh, Mr. Fixer. Meditate shuffles his deck. Uh, getting equipments is good, so we can discard them, actually, for... Uh, we can play Toolbox again, maybe. Potentially. That's interesting. Uh, so let's grab equipments. I guess there's that. I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm definitely not going back. Uh, we have another one shot. Silver Shadow. The only company text we have destroys that. So I don't want that to actually be the card that we play. So actually, I ruin. I could just press skip though, because it's Arcane Cadence on top right now. And Mr. Fixer can finish off and Master. All right, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, we can discard a card so that we can play Ar Arcane Cadence now. Uh, I don't want to discard equipments right now. I want to save those. Let's discard Scherzo. And look at our Genetab's deck. Oh, look, it's a one shot. Oh, look, a one shot. <laughs> I'm going to put that on top and not play it right now. Uh, if we discard this, then we can play it off the top of our deck next turn. Uh, let's put the harp in our hand. Uh, we don't want to play, actually, we don't want to play this or that. So let's put this on top. Put that on the bottom. Put that in our trash, which you can then put it on top with Vernal Sonata. <laughs> and I played that, I guess, sure. If I have Silver Shadows, that's fine. I guess I could have done a different card, whatever. Could have played the harp. That would have been smart. I should have played the harp. Oh well. Uh, I think Arjun Adept is doing just fine. That's right. It goes in the square hole. <laughs> That's a lot. That was all a lot. And it's still going to keep going because of this environment card. All right. We're taking on this objective, I think. Because I want to get this for Mr. Fixer. It's very, very good. I think we play Bloodstone just in case bad things. I don't think it, bad things happen. But Bloodstone is going to be coming back and like third paging us, right? So and we don't need to use our power. There's no reason for that. All right, we can discard an equipment card. A token. The Arjun Adept, reveal your top card. Hey, look, it's Vernal Sonata. Uh, the Naturalist can put another one shot on top. Uh, the Arjun Adept can put Arcane Cadence on top. <laughs> uh, I guess it was going to be the other card, Polyphoric Flare, but that's fine. There's probably another one. Uh, meditation? We already have a style. Uh, do we want to put an equipment on top? Or do we just want to skip? I think we just skip. And, oh yeah, we can manually discard any number of cards. I think we just get this by doing the environment thing though, right? So, or like doing Bloodstone discard, so yeah.
discard the top card of each deck. Uh, all right. Argent Adept is going to discard an equipment card to reveal the top card of a deck. Oh, it's a one-shot. Weird. Uh, awesome. Uh, <laughs> okay. Equipment in our hand, so we can discard it. Uh, we can just play that Arcane Cane. So we can just put leave the Arcane Cane on top. This reshuffles, though, so we don't want... I don't necessarily want that. That could be on top. Yeah, let's keep the Conjuration moving. So put that on top. Put that on the bottom. Put this in the trash so we can get it back if we need. Oh, man. One-shot party. We don't have... I mean, we could use this to use a power to play cards. I just don't know that we need to do that. We're kind of waiting right now. Um, I think we play this. There's so many conjurations. Uh, we, Yeah. We're going to have to reshuffle, so we're going to lose our, our control here. Actually, no, we could... We could choose an instrument from our trash, which doesn't reshuffle. Let's do that. So let's take this in our hand. Conjuration on top. Uh, sure, sure. Trash. Uh, let's grab the Lyra into play. I think. And we will... Oh, ET may draw a card, but I don't have the option turned on, so... Uh, discard the top card of each deck. Danger. Also ruining it. Oh, we discard equipment cards. <laughs> is it just whenever a equipment card is discarded, not like by who? Yep, whenever. Cool. And Oblivion did not explode. What did he discard? Impending Doom. Well, I wish he played that. Oh, well. Uh, all right. So now I don't remember. We might not have a one-shot on top. Of it. I think we discarded that last Conjuration, right? Oh, no. It was a Vernal Sonata that was left on there. So I know Naturalist still has a... Um, Predator's Eye on top. But this discarding the top of each deck mixed us up a little bit. Uh, Mr. Fixer, I think we don't know what he has on top. And it's probably not a one-shot. Argent Adept, I believe... I mean, it's pretty likely to be the Conjuration because I don't think we've stuck one on the bottom. We definitely put that on the bottom. We put that on the bottom. We put that on the bottom. We put that on the bottom. Actually... It might have to be this, because I think we put all those on the bottom, maybe. <laughs> maybe not all of them, but let's try it. Let's just... I'm sure we have a card we could discard now. Uh, we don't really care to just what we discard. Uh, let's discard Sadistic Dissonant. It's Instrumental Conjuration. All right. We have the Harp in play. I guess um, the bell is pretty good here because we can play Syncopated Onslaught. Get plus ones. Really, there's no bad choices. Maybe there are. I don't know. It's a fun Argent Adept time. This is when your friend's playing Argent Adept and you're like, oh my god, everyone, time for a coffee. <laughs> oh no, Darkmind's gonna get killed by Voss, isn't she? It's, it's gonna be close. Oh, there's minus one, so actually it's gonna be okay. I mean, maybe. All right, that's nothing. 
Now we could go kill Darkmind and get our stuff back. It's just like a single card from Argent Adept now, I think. Oh, from Naturalist. I thought she had Argent Adept's cards. Maybe she must have had someone else's cards. Uh, we're removing Pike Industrial Complex. I guess Oblivion is killing her. Because please don't do 20 damage to us. The Realm of Discord. I get natural form's power. And you hit boss for 20 damage. Oh, maybe she had she had Night Mist card? I can't remember what she had. Alright, Oblivion comes over. And he only has four on the countdown now. So is that what's supposed to happen? I guess so. Cause he flipped on this turn. And then it moved to five, and then it's still the start of the turn. So he... Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, we have to do it, though. Uh, he is adding tokens. He's getting hit by Tyrex Bot. Take that. All right, now is when we try to win the game. All right, we don't have a one-shot definitely on top of his deck. And we don't want to use this up, actually, the Predator's Eye. We want it to play those on his turn and not right now. So there's a chance Mr. Fixer has a one-shot. It's charge, three, three charges, one meditation is four. Eight for overdrives, shall judge for ten. But I don't know that we want to play overdrive. I guess if we do, we could just say no. We want to be using the hair dryer. I'm just going to skip. Do we skip? Maybe we should. I mean, a charge is still worthwhile, isn't it? Because of the hoist chain. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Sorry, I gotta go back to end of turn. End of turn. Change our mind here. Won't take too long to zip past this damage. Uh, Alright, who's discarding? Threatening stomp. Kind of dangerous. He has DR1, so it's not too bad. We definitely don't need all those cards. We also don't need all of what Arjun Adept has, so. Mr. Fixer, what you got? It's a one-shot. It's overdrive. So actually getting minus two on Oblivion here is probably worth blowing up a couple things that Arjun Adept has, so. Uh, because of Hoist Chain. Actually, we could destroy Driving Mantis. That's fine. And then we don't need both Alacritus's. They are combo combo makers. I guess we also don't need. I thought we had. To... Oh yeah, I guess we have the bell. It's a good combo. It's a good combo. Yeah, we can meditate for any other style here. Like, more damage style, <laughs> probably. Or we play Blade Knuckles. I don't know. Because we have Bloodstone. I would love to have a redirect for that hairdryer second hit. That would be cool. I don't think we have anything like that. What are we doing with the Lyra? We don't have the card play one. It's in our trash. What are we playing on this turn? We have the bonus Virtuosos if the Virtuosos live. I guess we we would like to get another tool that isn't Hoist Chain. But that seems like not a thing that we have. Are we going to use Natural Form's power? We're playing cards, right?
Actually, we can give card draws over to Mr. Fixer with that, though. Might be worthwhile. I think it might be the bell. Actually, no, it's one of the sub-dominance. Sub we're actually doing relatively okay now. We'll see. If our team doesn't die, and they probably won't die because Oblivion has minus two damage. Uh, to hope for the dawn. Don't really care about that. Uh, we're not probably... I mean, we might be able to get it, but I don't think we want it. Over draw a card, play a card, move a top card of a trash to the top of its deck. That's actually very good if it's the right kind of card on the top of the trash, but it isn't. Well, we could get the Crocodile. Overdrive on top. Reduce all damage by two. How about no? All right, I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Think about this. Chair does not want to hope for the dawn. Yeah, for me, it's which ink up ability to use here. Getting the plus one from this is probably pretty good. It's bearing our predator. I mean, we're going to draw it, but I guess we could shift our strength to get to it. We know that our top is Deadly Crocodile, and then I guess you know it. You always know your your trash. But we could shift your strength one card, or even two cards, to get those two cards. <clears throat> and play both of them. Actually, what we could do is shift your strength. Yeah, but we need to not draw a card, right? That's, that's hard. It's possible. Like, we could just do the thing, but... Uh, what forms are we? We don't have Crocodile right now, actually. Choices are play a card, draw a card, play a card. Move the top card of a trash to the top of its deck. So actually, yeah, since we know that actually the top of our deck is Predator's Eye. So the top deck thing would be moving that. We still wouldn't be able to get to the Predator's Eye. We have one here. I like getting two on Oblivion is very good. Maybe we just go for one. We got double hoist chain on Oblivion, so he's not really hurting us here. Um, we could move away from the rhinoceros and switch to damage mode. This carousel of horrors kind of 
bad, but it actually doesn't do anything. I don't think. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I want crocodile. I want damage. So move card to the top of deck. And shifter strength. Discard a card. Like this natural sports power. To draw the one card. Play it. We could threatening stomp, but that seems dangerous. Uh yeah, that's more damage and card draws. But yeah, what we can do is I guess we're not getting the plus one if we do this. We could primal charge for all three effects. But we wouldn't get to use Predator's Eye. That's the That's the problem there. I guess the question is, how much is that extra plus one worth? It's like one here. Depending on what Argent Adept does, it might be more. It's another one here. It's not It's not as much, maybe, as having more damages come from Argent, or from a, the Naturalist here, this turn anyways. Did I, wait. I wanted to play the Crocodile card, <laughs> sorry. Play the Crocodile card. Because I can use this power and play Primal Charge, or this power. I think Primal Charge is going to be the most. With Rhino. We draw three cards that maybe we get to play some other one shots or whatever, depending on what happens. Bestial Shift. That's what I'm looking for. Terra 3 Reality. Zero damage. Right? Yeah. Hoist Chained. Cool. Yeah, with my own minus one, I can start playing... Yeah, I think actually having the Crocodile out is going to be better, because then I can get powers out of turn that help me power that up. So Argent Adept, we don't know what is actually, we know he's not set up. So let's give this to the Naturalist. Argent Adept can discard the horn for the Naturalist to maybe get a one shot. It was not a one shot, it was Resilient Hide. And no, do not move. Uh, yeah. Use a power, right? We could use Chekhov's hairdryer. Which is pretty strong. Uh, we could also use the Naturalist to play Predator's Eye and do some damage. Or Feral Fury is, like, more damage. Because he's plus two, so it's actually eight Bestial Shift? Actually, why not Bestial Shift? Yeah, that's that's the most of everything. All right. Use a power, Naturalist. Actually, in letting Mr. Fixer draw two cards is very good. We don't. We could hit T-Rex Bot here, but I don't think it's worth it to almost kill it. Uh. Oh, wait. What? Oh, his... His gazelle expired, so he didn't get to... Right, hang on. Okay, hang on. 
I, I was going to play Bestial Shift. I didn't play Bestial Shift. That was what I was going to... I made him use Natural Forms Power, which then he could use more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Forgot the sequence. Yeah, I did get ahead of myself. I was like, oh, so we're going to use Natural Forms Power, but we were going to eventually use Natural Forms Power. <laughs> Gazelle. Play. Bestial Shift. There we go. We're getting 3 HP. Use a power now. All right. So now we can use this. Actually, you don't get any more card plays, right? Bestial Shift says reduce damage and then another power. So I get to use both of these powers. So, all right. Now Mr. Fixer gets to draw his cards. Bloody Knuckles and Tire Iron. Come on. Come on. Give me dual crowbars or something. More damage. And Crocodile. All right. And now we want to use Super Tonic. Syncopated Onslaught is pretty good too. Actually, if I'd use that before <laughs> the Naturalist there. Uh, I mean, this gets us nothing right now but hopefully more soon. It seems important. I, I wish I had invented preparation. I should have focused on picking that up. Um, this is like one damage. If I play it with the harp, it's not a big deal. But if I give the plus one to Mr. Fixer and Naturalist, that's a little better. What's that versus a card play? A card play means we could play Predator's Eye, or Feral Fury. We get a card play anyways. Yeah, so I think it's actually syncopated to choose Bell here for the plus one. Actually. T-Rex bot plus damage, that's interesting. I don't think it has enough hit points. See you later, Take Walker. I guess we could do this, but for a card play, but I think what would our card play be? We're already gonna probably play Bloody Knuckles. Or uh, meditate for something for a plus one damage, I guess. Meditate for plus one damage, probably. We could do both. Bloody Knuckles is safe. Yeah, we can meditate and Bloody Knuckles. Start doing huge damage. So. Hey, I have plus one damage. Look at that. Focus of power over there. He is getting to high numbers of tokens. Uh, we get a card play here. We don't know what the top card of our decks are right now. Just play Feral Fury. Seems good. Well, we have these cards that do tons of damage. Natural Born Bigger, also good. Just use this. It's 10 damage. And I think the Naturalist is the highest boosted target right now. And we can chance on Naturalist deck, I think. Let's discard. this other syncopated onslaught for the naturalist. It's a one shot. Ooh, primal charge. Nice. Naturalist is popping off. Yeah, I guess having a plus one would have <laughs> helped. We've had a lot of instances of damage, but we're doing okay, I think, with without that predator's eye. 
Uh, no, we don't want to move. We want to use an in-cap of some form. Uh, yeah, let's meditate. Into plus one damage. This is kind of dangerous, but each hero target deals itself one. <laughs> we have a lot of damage boosts. Uh, but we also have Bloodstone. And I don't think targets are going to be destroyed this way. Infernal damage! Ten damage! Man, I wish I could hit him again. But I can't. Oh, he actually hits us here. Including T-Rex bot. T-Rex bot! Alright, that happens. He doesn't add tokens. Yes, let's discard for... We discard an overdrive. I have an overdrive in my trash, right? So I don't want to do that. Discard for the naturalist again. Not a one-shot. Cornered beast on top. world's biggest pool table. Uh, so there's a chance Mr. Fixer has a one-shot here. It's probably worth, again, trying for it. We can always discard the harp, because we can pick it up again. Conjuration. Not a one-shot. It's a jack handle. Please don't play a card of <laughs> Oblivion. The pool table hits up Levan. He's down to 37 in one round. So <laughs> we're doing okay. We also have to deal with the boss on the other side. Uh, so now we know it's not the Argent Adept who literally has a single card in his deck. So there's no point to discarding. Is this... Actually, we discard the... Hang on. We discard the top card of each deck. Go back, go back, go back. This discard the top card of each deck afterwards. So now it's new information. Hang on. New information. Try the naturalist again. It's a one shot. Primal charge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's very good. Got another bestial shift, I think. But we're doing like 11 damage. Ethereal Bonds does nothing. All right, boss is coming over. Ouch. And it already passed his, no, wait, his, it passed his end of turn, right? Or I don't know what happened there. We'll say good things happened. Oh no, the Virtuosos, our friends. All right, this is happening, I guess, damage. He's at 11 tokens, which is lots of tokens for boss to be doing damage with. Uh, Mr. Fixer's gonna bloodstone in a second here, so that's okay. Let's discard cornered beast. Don't think that's probably happening. And we can check our top top deck. Actually, we might know our deck. It's like there's a chance, more chance of Mr. Fixer still. It's a one shot, threatening stomp. Uh, he's already done his thing, so I'm gonna stomp him. All right, so we're going to get Voss here, and we're going to be able to wail on Voss for a round. 
but not as much because we lost our uh, our friends and we don't have Vernal Sonata to get them back. Uh, we'll use an Incap ability. Oh, what's the top card of Arjunetip's deck? I'm picking that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have him draw it and play it on his turn. Absolutely. So actually, we're not giving a plus one. We should give a plus one over to Voss if we're giving a plus one to anyone. We have Bestial Shift. Uh, which lets us use both of our powers, then we don't have any more powers. So we could... Use additional powers that we don't have. Oh no, we have three powers, don't we? We have three powers. So we play Predator's Eye on Voss first. Maybe. We could also do Feral Fury. I think we kill Oblivion here. And so getting that plus one on Voss is gonna be important. Uh, I'd rather play this later so I can do more damage to him. Because right now we can't really hit him. So, Bestial Shift now. And then use this play to play. Assuming we have enough damage. Uh, so, three points use a power. Let's say it's this. Two damage is five damage, right? We have plus one, plus one. Oh, don't we have another plus one? Oh, we still have a plus one for that, so that's five damage from Crocodile. Um, that's six damage, so that's 11. Use a power, this does not enough damage. Yeah. We're like, just short, aren't we? So if I play Feral Fury, I guess I don't get to play Predator's Eye on Voss this turn. But we could play it, like, on this turn. With the power here. Oh yeah, T-Rex Bot, end of turn. But I don't I don't want to build on to play a card. So... That's not... That's not part of the equation. This needs to happen before the end of the turn. So Oblivion doesn't play. I also have Shifter Strength, if one of these cards could help. Another Bestial Shift, but I don't know that I that actually helps. See, I think we don't get to hit Voss with... Uh... This is all about getting to kill Oblivion and play Predator's Eye on Voss. I don't think I can do both. Uh, or I mean, and get the damage on Voss. Like, I could play this now on Voss and not hit him. Like, and still kill, I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, maybe not because because of... Uh... See, so, yeah, I think it's, it's not that... Well, actually, no. If we do it this way, if we do this, then we do kill a Oblivion and get to play. We'll just play Bestial Shift next turn. Like, on Argent Edip's turn. Uh, right? Because if we... No, we need the extra powers, don't we? Yeah, we need to play Bestial Shift to get the extra powers to do enough damage. Oh no, we could just play another Feral Fury, can't we? <laughs> uh, so, for that purpose, we need Gazelle to be here. Yeah, let's just play another Feral Fury, and that does it. Slightly overkill. I guess this does it. We have plus three. Save Feral Fury. Yeah. Da 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 da. Then we pop off with Bestial Shift next turn. I think better. Ten damage. 
All right, and maybe we get another, maybe we get to play Bestial Shift because it's still in our deck. It's a chance. Uh, let's discard Indomitable Force or one of these Natural Born Vigors. We don't need two of them. It's Hyperactive Senses. Well, we're not picking Oblivion. Oh, his color, his deck color changed because he's got a different color. It's fun. Oh look, we can <laughs> rearrange. Hey, wait! I thought I, I thought I did the top card of the trash. Wait, 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 wait! Did I not do that? Did I click wrong? i have definitely tried to put the top card onto my deck, right? Hang on, I have to go back to the start of my turn. If this is a bug, I'll be upset because. This seems very good. Uh, no, you did not. What did I do? That's what I was doing. Move a top card of a trash to its deck. Did I click? Did I misclick? Did I click a, the wrong card, wrong thing? I was clicking Argent Adept so that this goes to the top. We'll have to check the tape. See? It just didn't do. Did it? Wait. Did it do anything? It didn't work. It didn't work. Ugh. We have to like try to reshuffle for it, I guess. Uh, bug. So this is Dark Watch Night Mists. Third in cap. I'm gonna send a send a bug. Tried to put uh, Virtuosos of the Void from AA's trash to the top of his deck, but nothing happened, and now I am sad. This worked for Bloodstone, right? It previously worked for Bloodstone. No, they didn't help. All right. Reported. Okay, so... Well, then we're doing something else with our pre-start of turn. We're not doing something that doesn't work. Right? Uh, we could go bestial shift here so we yeah if we go bestial shift here then we can like do all these things um and then do the thing that we wanted to do so yeah let's do that unless mr fixer can play a card that would do something or argent adept no he did i shouldn't have discarded all those power cards but oh well uh play a card the naturalist uh, powers. Chop. Chop. Let's use this power. I guess then we're just getting Arjun Adept to draw two cards and maybe he'll reshuffle into what we want. <laughs> He didn't have Vernal Sonato or access to it, so. All right, so now we can like use Feral Fury or something and then play Predator's Eye with her power. That seems fine. All right, here's Voss again. I'm gonna grab a bit more water. <laughs> uh, 
bug. I thought we fixed all the bugs. There are still bugs lurking, turns out. All right, now it is time. We will choose Gazelle. In case we draw that other bestial shift, which we didn't, but we're gonna maybe draw a card here. Actually, if I draw, yeah, the better, more I draw, the better chance I get. Oh, I should have said yes. Hang on, sorry. Back to use of power. I want to draw that bestial shift for next turn. Play a card. Whoops. Play Predator's Eye. Yes, draw a card. Yes, draw a card. Right, it was Hyperactive Senses that we top decked previously. <laughs> previously, in an alternate universe. And now it's actually different. Knight of Misclicks. All right, all right. Shift your strength or Bissell Shift. I actually don't want Bissell Shift this turn. I don't have any more powers left. So let's do our Gen Adept, right? Because he's reshuffled. It's a one shot. Vernal Sonata. Wish I had that. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Uh, Naturalist could get back uh, Predator's Eye on top. That seems good. Actually, Bestial Shift on top is better. And Mr. Fixer could... I don't know. Does Mr. Fixer want these? Jack Handle, I guess, helps. But Hoist Chain is probably better. Because we only have one target. I mean, we're it's self damage, but like, it's irreducible damage he's dealing. So I don't know. I think Mr. Fixer could like get Harmony back. I guess that's plus one damage. Sure. No, no one wants to go to the second battle zone. Uh, we should make sure this <laughs> this doesn't happen. Uh, this is like interestingly exactly tied uh, that would be actually fun with uh, Jack Handle wouldn't it uh, but I think you know maybe we destroy an environment card sometime I don't know we're probably fine this would destroy environment cards we could get this but we're definitely not doing that we're letting the naturalist use a power and it's probably gonna be play a card we could use Shifter Strength and definitely get Bestial Shift, because we know it's on top. That's probably the best thing to do. So choose this. Or we could play... Yeah, no, let's play Predator's Eye for another plus one and don't draw a card. So we top deck Bestial Shift at the end of the turn. That's better. All right. Is it time for inventive preparation finally? Or inspiring supertonic? Actually, we can let Mr. Fixer use the hair dryer. That's pretty good. Maybe we use the combo this turn. I mean, letting a card play from Naturalist, though, is very good. We're going to get... Oh, we're not going to get end of turn. We're not going to get end of turn. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So... Do this. One hero may use a power now. The Argent Adept. Let's use this power. Give plus one damage to our good friends, the Naturalist and Mr. Fixer. Use this accompany. I may use a power now. 
I'll use this. Someone me is a power now. It's Mr. Pixer. That's how he gets the plus one. Lightning damage. That's 12. And let's not murder anyone else. And I get to do one damage. I guess I didn't maybe didn't do that perfectly, but you know what? It's fine. I do four damage with this, so that's pretty good. Vernal Sonata. Alright, we're discarding a card. Still have 13 cards here. Uh, let's discard one of these. We don't really need two of those. The Naturalist. It's Bestial Shift. Surprise! Use a power. Do more damage and use a power. Do we want Mr. Pixer? Mr. Pixer can just play Bloody Knuckles. Play Overdrive. Who else would draw a card, though? I mean, we could try to get... It's too late for the Virtuosos. I guess we just let Mr. Pixer draw, then. Maybe he... Draws a charge or something. Harmony and alternating Tiger Claw. Boss might get a turn. It's distressing. Uh, no. Do we want an end cap play? Probably. Uh, could do harmony overdrive probably is good bloody knuckles gets destroyed i guess if we play overdrive now we use our power later right let me just i think that's how that works because it's not my power phase yet so if i play Overdrive now. Yeah. That means I can play Bloody Knuckles before the power. And use the hairdryer. And I think we're going to win here. <laughs> so GG, boss. You don't get a turn. And Bitter Strike does sonic damage. Yeah. Nine sonic damage. Starting to think we might win this. Destroy a card. Let's destroy the apex of humanity. Yeah, once this little squad got rolling, that was pretty good. And let's freeze him. We gotta win this. We won this. Some dark times in the middle of that fight, that's for sure. When all the signs kept coming out. Oh, and... This bug with Voss disappearing. I tried to find it. And I couldn't find it. And now it happens. <laughs> it still exists. But it's rare. Another test case. I don't know. It's Trixie. I'm not sure what causes it. Cheers to the heroes. So I did win full random oblivion, gold chevron, the one person who believed in me is going to get a one a 36 to 1 return on their point labras. So congratulations to gold chevron for believing in me. Boss being humiliated causes him to slip away. Oh, I know Sparky Wolf. That's all right. I mean, that's a, probably a pretty good bet. Um, Oblivion with H equals 3 is pretty difficult, but I think we lucked into a good hero squad. And of course, if you're choosing your heroes, you could probably... Yeah, they only bet 10 points, so... <laughs> hey, they got 360 back. 
so that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, you only bet 10 points against. Yeah, you could have given hundreds of thousands of points to a lucky viewer. I only regret that we didn't get guys. It's my one regret for this game. But that was fun. No, the the H equals three has a different, definitely a different feeling because you don't take as much damage unless you get piled on like happened in this game. But like normally, a lot of the damage is based on H, so your heroes can survive a bit longer. Um, usually, but that we got unlucky. The environment also did us a ton of damage in the Pike Industrial and stuff. But uh, I think once we were able to kill the Scions off that were causing trouble, things got well in hand. So, obviously, and of course, you know, Hunter Naturalist, Arjun Adept, and Dark Watch Mr. Fixer. If you're going to pick like three heroes to team up and kick some butt, that's a pretty good team. <laughs> For like ridiculous end of turn combos and that environment actually that was giving us top deck one shots that saved like that definitely saved us a round of the game like we wouldn't have gotten oblivion dead that quick or boss that quick so and when once we got our decks down to that point where we could just be like oh yeah i'm playing a one shot for sure Yeah, Meta Minimire helped out, definitely. That one bug did not help, but we didn't need it. I guess we probably would have won on Argent Adept's turn instead or something. Maybe not. It would have been still Mr. Fixer's turn. But I wanted to get my Virtuosas back with Argent Adept. It's very thematic. Actually, that that's an interesting thinking of a like, condition game. Only being allowed to take missions that go with the hero so like you'd have to have expatriate first for uh the citizen dawn one and stuff that could be interesting or arjun adept for the for that for that one if they're like involved in the card in some way you can choose it so like legacy could pick like elmeher legato or lucky break or um any of them that are like legacy related or he appears on or talks on so maybe next time we'll do a, a little condition game of Oblivion that way. Maybe on Thursday. I don't know what Logic Dolphin wants to do on Thursday for the Tabletop Fest. Yeah, it probably is lots of shuffling, right? Or like passing up rewards to get to the later hero. But it could be fun. Especially like when you get to where we are with uh, playing Slay the Spire with Oblivion, like... You can play around with it a little bit, like like we do. Like when you're when you're learning a Blavion or playing it normally, like you're not gonna choose random heroes. That's like that's a thing that that I do to make it harder, <laughs> um, both harder and also more interesting. Like I feel like you can learn a lot more with this game by doing by playing random things, and you're not always falling into the same like, well, you know, I choose legacy and I block card plays and GG. Like sure, that's one thing you can do, but that's not the only way to win. There are other ways. And you can only find them by exploring. Uh, yeah. Cool. So that is going to be it. Random setups for the win. And the loss. But, you know, also wins and also losses. Uh, let's go and click on a villain for some music. But I'm going to go to the end screen anyway. So you can hear boss's music for a second. Uh, yeah, this has been Handle Over Live. Gonna call it a night. Uh, but don't forget, the Steam Digital Tabletop Fest is coming up this weekend. There's gonna be sales on our games as well as like digital tabletop for all kinds of companies are getting involved in it. We're gonna do some streams, regular streams, and some bonus streams, including an Ian's End preview on Sunday. Um, so tune in for that, and maybe we'll have some new stuff you haven't seen before. And definitely stuff that Logic Dolphin has not played before. So <laughs> get ready for some reading. Uh, that's going to be it. Uh, we'll see you all next time on Handle Ever Live. Have a good night.